be simulated during the exercise and all message traffic will be completed with exercise, exercise, exercise. Exercise, exercise, exercise. Uh, again, this is K7YMA. Uh, just received notification from Yuma County Office of Emergency Management for YAKS to activate and keep in mind activate does not mean deploy. Uh, we will set up a net, take check-ins and make some assignments. Uh, several minutes ago Yuma was hit by an earthquake of unknown strength. Again, exercise, exercise, exercise. I'm establishing an emergency earthquake net on this frequency to monitor the local situation. Uh, this is a directed net. Please do not transmit unless invited to do so by net control. Preface your traffic with exercise, exercise, exercise. And break with your call sign if you have emergency traffic. Notify net control if you leave the net and when you return. That way we can keep track of where everybody's at. If this repeater is no longer responding, the backup repeater is the Yarho repeater at the fairgrounds. That's number 20 on the YAC's memory list. For those that have that program into your radio, that is 146.840. A negative offset and a PL of 88.5. I will now take check ins from YAX members followed by non member check ins. Uh, please hold your damage reports until after check in is completed. Uh, please advise net control of your capabilities uh, such as mobile or portable equipment or 40 80 meter uh, HF capability and also uh, if you're available for assignment away from home. Uh, with that, I'll begin the check-ins. Exercise, exercise, exercise. K7YMA, uh, YAX members, please check in at this time. W7JLW. RV. KG7AAU. Lima Victor. And KE8DM. N7TKF. W7JLW. WA6OJY. KC6LRL. W7SLY and W7SAN available for assignment. Phil D. KI7HCK and KI7HCJ. K7EZF available for assignment. KG7AAU. T not available. W7HG, mobile at home. Okay, I have a break there. I recognize W7JLW, KG7AAU, uh, KE8DM, and VLV. Uh, K, I believe it's KA7VLV. Helen, will you be going to the Red Cross? Negative. Okay, so you will not be playing Red Cross today. Thank you. Uh, N7TKF, WA6OJY, KC6LRL, W7SLY, available. And uh, Sam, I don't know whether you had mentioned Sandy or not because there was a double there. Uh, is Sandy also available? 
Roger that. W7SLY. Thank you. Uh, W7GR, DR, and W7SLD. Uh, KI7HDK and KI7HDJ. K7EZS available. WB7OUT not available. W7HG mobile. And uh, do I have any other YAX members wishing to check in? Uh, W6GRO not available. Doctor's appointment handheld. KE7 LVR not available, committed YPG. K7 BRV available. Okay, acknowledge W6DRO not available and on HT, KE7 LVR not available and K7 BRV available. Uh, at this time, do I have any other? YAX members wishing to check in. Hearing none, I'll now take check-ins from non-members. K7EZP available. K7TZZ. K7EZQ on a portable. K7, available. Last station, could I have the suffix again, please? Be a Tango Alpha, thank you. Do I have any other non-members wishing to check in? None at this time. Uh, I have some assignments, and if everybody else would stand by, uh, exercise, exercise, exercise. Uh, W7JLW, K7YMA. W7JLW. Yes, Jeff, could you use your resources to find out? Uh, what magnitude this earthquake was and also its location and any other information you should get us? I already have that information. Okay, I'm ready to copy. At uh, 171717 17, UTC or 101717 17 local time, a magnitude 6.9 earthquake occurred near the town of Guadalupe, Victoria, Mexico. It's 42 miles southwest of Yuma, Arizona, 37 miles southwest or southeast of Calexico, at a depth of 9 kilometers, which makes it very shallow. Exercise, exercise, exercise. Okay, could I get a repeat? I got Guadalupe and... Uh the words after that, and also uh, the direction following uh, southwest of Yuma. Okay, it was Guadalupe, Victoria, Mexico, 42 miles southwest of Yuma, 37 miles southeast of Calexico, California, at a depth of 9 kilometers. Roger that. Good copy. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate the information. Uh, break W7SLY, K7YMA. W7SLY, go ahead. Yeah, Sam, at this time, uh, I think it's prudent for us to have someone go to both the Sheriff's Office and uh, also to the EOC in preparation of uh, any actions that the county might want to take. Can you uh, head to the EOC?
Uh, yes, I can. Give me a few minutes and I'll be en route. I'll let you know when I'm on my way. Thank you. Break uh, N7 Easy S, K7 Y make. K7 Easy S. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I've got a name block here. Oh, Fred, uh, as your, since you're operations officer, could you uh, also go to the EOC to uh, work with Sam? Copy that. I can be on my way right now, so I'm headed out. Hey, keep in mind, we're not actually deploying. We're doing this simulated, so just let me know uh, when you get on the simulated road. Uh, break uh, W7GRD, K7YMA. W7GRD. Uh, W7GRD, K7YMA, uh, exercise, exercise, exercise. Would you and Shirley report to the Sheriff's Office EOC? Uh, I don't believe that you have a key, but uh, they do have a spare key down there at uh, dispatch. Copy that. Uh, we'll be in route shortly. Thank you. Uh, break W7OJY, K7YMA. WA6OJY. Yeah, Bob, uh, would you in addition to monitoring this frequency, monitor the 146.520. Uh, are you able to do that? WA6OJY, uh, will do. Thank you, and if you hear any traffic on there, you might want to direct those folks if it's uh, earthquake related to uh, this repeater. Uh, K, K7 YMA. Net control W7 SLY. Net control. Exercise, exercise, exercise. Uh, w, w7 SAN and I are on the road to the comp center. Uh, ETA, if all conditions are good, about 15 to 20 minutes. Roger that. Thank you much. I have you down for as en route. Uh, break. Uh, this is K seven YMA. Recheck. KG seven AAU K seven YMA. KG seven AAU. Uh, Nancy, are you able to monitor two frequent two VHF frequencies? Uh, no. Okay, in that case, uh, let me go down the, the list here. Uh, W7HG, K7YMA. Okay, nothing from Kathy. Uh, K7, oh, Victor, you don't have a good antenna, so I'm going to have to play play off of that. Uh, KE7, uh, correction, K7 EZQ, K7 YMA. K7 EZQ. Yeah, John, uh, have you got capability to monitor two, monitor two repeaters? That's primitive. Would you go to the 146.880 repeater? Uh, that's Black Mountain, and monitor to see if you hear any uh, damage reports, and uh, get back with me. Okay, I will do that. I'm tuned to the Black Mountain frequency now. Thank you, k 7 YMA. Uh, k 7 VLV, k 7 YMA. 
KDM, K7YMA. Thirty-seven GRD exercise, exercise, exercise. Uh, this is K7YMA. Go ahead. Yeah, George. K7YMA. Thirty-seven GRD. We're headed to uh, the ESO. Roger that. Thank you. And uh, again, keep in mind we're just simulating these uh, assignments. Uh, K7YMA, stand by. W7JLW. Uh, W7JLW, K7YMA. Yeah, I've got uh, 40 and 80 capability. I can go mobile if needed. And I also have uh, HT capability if necessary. If you would, uh, would you monitor the 84 repeater, the 146.84 repeater at the fairgrounds, just in case someone tries to check in there, or see if we monitor that for any information? Can do. W7 Gender. K7 EZF. K7 EZS, K7 YMA. Exercise, exercise, exercise. Net control, will you show me on my way to the comm center at 1039? Okay, I have 1036 now, so you will be leaving at 1039. Roger that. Uh, will do, thank you. K7YMA. K7YMA, this is K7BRV. K7BRV, K7YMA. Exercise, exercise, exercise. I went outside just a, bit, a few, few minutes ago to check around and noticed that the water in the A irrigation canal was extremely low. Okay. Uh, Standing by for further uh, instructions. Okay, Mike, thank you for that. And uh, I'm trying to look at my list here. Stand by. K7YMA, WA6OJY. WA6OJY. W6 OJY exercise, exercise, exercise. The power in our area in the foothills is now down, and I'm running on solar backup. W6 OJY. W6 OJY, exercise, exercise, exercise. Uh, okay, Bob, that explains it a little bit because I'm also uh, I'm running on battery power because the power is out down here. Exercise, exercise, exercise. A break, uh, K7 BRV, K7 YMA. This is K7 BRV. Yeah, Mike, uh, our 146.800 repeater, which is the one that normally covers the valley, uh, is down. Uh, can you monitor the 449.075 repeater? Uh, that has pretty good coverage of the valley, and that way we can find out if anybody out there is trying to get back to us to report anything. Uh, yes, does that have a, a, a code on that, or is it just a simplex? Uh, let's see, the... Uh, 449075 is a negative offset. It has a PL of 88.5. And if you've got uh, the AX radio memory list programmed in your radio, it's uh, number 76. Number 76.
Hey, I have, I've got that and I'll, um, I'll bring that in. I'll get the frequency. Roger that, thank you. K7YMA. 7 BRV uh, monitoring. It looks like uh, about it for my assignments from what I'm looking at here as far as personnel and uh, our needs. At this point, uh, I will take any damage reports that you might have. Uh, this is K7YMA, exercise, exercise, exercise. N7 TKF. N7 TKF, go ahead. Yeah, this is N7 TKF. Exercise, exercise, exercise. I am over off of Avenue B in the Tuscany Plaza, and there be, appears to be uh, some cracks in the asphalt, and a couple of the offices are without power. Exercise, exercise, exercise. Okay, Tom, thank you. I have that. Any other damage reports? W7GRD. Go ahead, Marty. Yeah, George. Um, we got down here to the Sheriff's Department, and they're running on backup generator, and uh, they really don't want to let us in. Okay. Uh, we will have to get in touch with uh, Tony and have him get a hold of the Sheriff. Yeah, there's, you know, water running down the street, but other than that, not a whole lot going on down here. Exercise, exercise, exercise. K7 EZQ. Going Y, man. Stand by, Scotty. W7GRD, K7YMA. Hey, George. Yeah, stand fast there uh, until we can get a hold of Tony. Because uh, I'm sure that once he talks to the sheriff, that you'll be able to get in there. Uh, break, K860L, K7YMA. Good morning. I just got the uh, message. Uh, where there's an exercise going on, uh, so I'm checking in. I don't know if I'd be any use. Hey, are you uh, at home right now? I'm at home, and I'm in the middle of a Civil Air Patrol exercise. Okay. Well, we've got you here, and... Uh, if uh, need be, we will get back to you. So I, I'd say go ahead and put your efforts into the CAP exercise. We appreciate the check-in. Okay, George. Thanks. I'll uh, keep one ear on this repeater, KH-60L. 7 vlv Yeah, K-7VLV, K-7YMA. Yes, sir. Uh KE8DM, and I uh, need to leave the net uh, due to appointments. Roger that, Helen. I have uh, you and Robert out of the net. Thank you much for participating, K7YMA. K7, EZF. K7, EZS, K7YMA. Exercise, exercise, exercise. Net control, I have arrived at the comm center. Um, we are on backup generator as well. I will start uh, monitoring the radios here. Okay. Uh, is Sam with you also, or has he arrived also? Negative on that. I haven't seen him. Okay. Uh, Go ahead and fire up the equipment and then uh, stand by Fred, uh, K7YMA. EG7, EZP. 
K7 EZP, K7 YMA. Uh, exercise, exercise, exercise at uh, Air, uh, Avenue A and 32nd Street. The water tower seems to sustain some damage. It's not, I don't think, still up, but uh, might be good to keep an eyeball on it. Get somebody over here to look at it. K KG7 EZP, exercise, exercise, exercise. Thank you for that report, uh, K7 YMA. Uh, this is K7 YMA. If my math is right, we're getting up to uh, about a half an hour, and we had said that at half an hour we would cut this off. And uh, I want to, I'm going to basically close the net. I want to thank everybody for their participation. Uh, I've already learned a couple of things today. Uh, if you have any comments, good, bad, or indifferent, uh, please drop me an email at my call sign, k7yma at roadrunner.com. Uh, also, I would imagine that we're going to be discussing this uh, this evening. I will have my after-action report, uh, my point of view tonight, and if anybody sends me any information, uh, then I will include that in my after-action report. Uh, I particularly want to thank the Nanyaks members for, for checking in, uh, kind of get an idea of what we do. It does get hectic. And uh, at, at this point, I hadn't been able to make any assignments for the non-members, but uh, that could, could happen. Uh, the Yuma Auxiliary Communication Service will be having its monthly meeting this evening at 7 p.m. at the uh, Yuma Community Food Bank on 24th Street between Avenue 3E and Pacific. It is open to anybody and everybody. So if uh, you haven't attended one of the meetings and you checked in and saw what we were doing, you're more than welcome to join us tonight. Again, thank you all for participating. It's greatly appreciated. With that, I'm going to close the net and return the frequency to its normal use, K7YMA.